What's up fellow travelers? My name is Brandon. In this video, I'm gonna present six different ways you can travel virtually around the world from the comfort of your living room and distract yourself from the isolation of COVID-19. Let's just get right into it, shall we? The first item on our list are virtual museum tours. I love a good museum. Why? Because usually they're grid fillers for rainy days when you're traveling. They're usually cheap or practically free, except in Canada, pretty expensive. And also allow you to learn about the culture you're traveling to. But what if I told you you didn't have to spend thousands of dollars traveling halfway around the world just to see a Monet or a Picasso? Google Arts and Culture has collaborated with over 2,500 different museums from around the world. Some of the most world-renowned museums are on this site to present online exhibitions, collections, and also virtual tours of museums. That's right, you could visit museums that maybe you didn't have a chance to visit last time you were traveling. I highly recommend you check out the Pergamon Museum in Berlin. It has some of the greatest masterpieces in there. Massive architectural pieces. I'm talking about the Blue Gates of Babylon that are in this museum. It was currently closed for refurbishment, but I visited in 2014 and I can tell you it was a privilege to visit in Berlin. All this is free. Links are in the description. Option number two, international film festivals. Are you running low on movies to watch on Netflix? While some international film festivals had to postpone their presentations this year because of the pandemic, some have decided to offer free presentations online. One such option is the Amsterdam International Documentary Film Festival. Woof! I said it all in once. Offers 200 titles free to those living outside the Netherlands and also 300 to those living within the Netherlands. And for a small donation, you can have access to over 500 titles. Think about how many documents, documentaries you could listen to during your isolation. That's right, no more Tiger King, no more Love is Blind. You can watch high quality documents presented by artists from around the world. Links are in the description. Option number three, concerts. Just like museums, I love to listen to a good concert from some of the greatest establishments from around the world, whether it be the Sydney Opera House or the Vienna Opera House. Unfortunately, I don't always have the money for it and I don't always have the attire for it. But what I can say is when I have the opportunity, I definitely jump on it. While most concert halls are closed during these tough times, some are offering free digital access to their content online. That's right, you could watch some of the greatest concerts of all times in the comfort of your living room, dress in pajamas, no more tuxedos, and listen to these amazing concerts. One such concert hall is the Berliner Philharmonica, which is offering currently a 30-day ticket free pass, digital pass, that gives you access to their archives of over 600 concerts spanning over six decades. That's right, you can listen to concerts that are playing in the 1970s, 1960s, and even today. This is all free, link in the description for the first 30 days. Then you have to pay for a pass that gives you access to additional content. I also highly recommend you check out the Metropolitan Opera House in New York, which is currently offering nightly Met Opera streams that's right, every single night you can watch a single presentation from 7.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. the following day, a full presentation for absolutely free. All the information for this event, as well as the schedule for the nightly shows, are linked in the description. I highly recommend you check it out. And guys, if you enjoy the content so far and you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button to not miss any more tips and tricks or vlogs about traveling. Option number four, free animal live cams. That's right, if you're like me and you live in the urban jungle and you wanna escape and go into nature, well, options are available to you. Explore.org is currently offering free live nature cameras. That's right, hundreds of live nature cameras that give you access and feeds to different animals in their natural habitats. I highly recommend you check out the AfriCam, which gives you presentations of animals in Africa like giraffes and elephants. All this is free, links in the description down below. Another such example are zoos. While some are closed, others are offering live feeds of their animals in their exhibits. For example, the San Diego Zoo is currently offering free live feeds of certain animals such as koalas, giraffes, and elephants. Links are in the description and also highly recommend. It's free by the way. That's right, free. Option five, virtual walking tours. Thanks to some of the greatest creators on this platform, you have access to free virtual walking tours from around the world. That means some of the greatest cities and some of the greatest tourist destinations. While they're not the most informative vlogs because these vlogs do not present actual descriptions for the most part, they might inspire your next travel plans. I will link some options in the description, but I highly recommend you do your own search on YouTube. Just search virtual walking tour and trust me, you will find hundreds of options. 
All right, guys, we've made it so far. It's the final and last one. Option number six, radio.com. I know you're saying, you're probably saying, Brandon, radio.com, radios, why? Why, why, why are you talking about radios? I mean, there's, there's no point, it's a radio. Well, radio.com offers an interactive map which allows you to choose a specific country and listen to the music being played in such country in a specific decade of your choosing. That's right, you can choose a decade between the 1900 and now and listen to music being played and broadcast in that country at that period. For example, you could choose New Zealand and listen to the music being played in the 1950s. It allows you not only to travel virtually by learning different songs and music being played in different countries, it also allows you to learn about the musical flavors of that country. So check it out, highly recommend it. It's free and also if you log in and create an account, you have access to more features. Links in the description, highly recommend checking it out guys. Well guys, those were six options to travel virtually for free around the world during these tough times of isolation. Before I end this video, I want to say a quick thank you to all our first responders, medical staff, and also essential personnel working here in Canada and around the world. Thank you very much. I know these are tough times for you and your families. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button to see more videos like it in the future. And also, if you have any other options about traveling virtually or any questions or comments about travel, leave a comment down below and I look forward to reading them and addressing them in future videos. Thank you so much guys. And don't forget, safe travels. Ah. Uh -huh.